<laughs> hey, here at the Egypt Shriners, about to go in, see if we can find some good deals today. Here with my boy Digimon Joe and Suk and Atuk. Let's see what we can find. I've never been to the Egypt Shriners before in Tampa, but uh, it was cool to come in, check it out. Pick up one of their flyers, walked in. It's a pretty good size sports card show. Um, majority of it was baseball, football, etc. But uh, we were able to find a couple tables here. And this one had a lot of the uh, booster packs and boxes. Had a uh, shoe box full of high graded cards. Got these hidden fates to get those, all the cool shiny ones. Oh, shoot. After that, we found one more vendor that had a large quantity of vintage Pokemon cards. Had a shoebox full of them. Digimon Joe and I, we took turns going through uh, the huge stacks there. Um, luckily for me, I was able to find a handful of fossil hollows that were fairly priced. I was able to pick up, add to the collection. Um, We'll go through seeing them in my binder in a little bit. After that, we took one last look around the place and uh, headed back home. Hey, Poke fans, back here at home now. I'm going over the recent pickups I got at the uh, show at the Shriners. So, uh, I'm a huge fan of Mill Tank. Did not have one from this set yet, so. Got a good deal on a mill tank. And then came across this Beware GX card. Uh, it's just the uh, the promo card from the, the box there, but my wife's a big fan of the Beware, so I, I couldn't help pick that one up also. Always good to add to the collection. And then I'm trying to fill out my, uh, my vintage set binder. So uh, picked up this number one of 62, Aerodactyl Hollow. It's in pretty good condition. There's a couple light uh, surface scratches on the hollow, but uh, overall this card's actually in really good condition. Um, that there's just the sticker from previous price tag that was tied to it, but I do love these classic hollows. So I'll be going in my binder. Picked up another big one here from Fossil. We got the Raichu hollow. Fan of that. And then the last one is a third fossil card. We got the Haunter Hollow. So, all these cards were in pretty decent condition. Was able to work with the uh, seller and he was a super nice guy. Very happy to be able to strike a deal with him. So, and the one other spot I found some guy was selling some booster boxes. There was a, a cool Pikachu V red and blue 20th anniversary box I'd love to have in my collection, but uh, I did pick up one pack of Japanese cards here. So this is the one with Mew on the front. I think it's series eight. So let's crack into this and see if we can uh, pull a hit out of it. All right. These ones are always weird to open. But the Japanese quality um, they have much better quality control than our United States counterparts, so they're usually very good with the centering and all that. So let's see what we got inside of here. All right, we're starting off. We got the little snubble. I forget the name of that vulture. Fusion strike card. Oh, we got a garbage card. The garbage door into. Well, that was a very uh, unexciting, uncommon pack. That's all right, though. All right. Got the binder back out here now. Gonna look over these cards. Pulled them out of their top loaders and sleeves. This Raichu is looking really clean. That hollow is immaculate. Definitely like the way that one looks. Um, I do, yep, I do remember there seems just a tiny couple spe specks of whiting along the side there. Um, bottom there, a little bit on the corner. Um, 
Well, overall, for a 20 year old card, really clean, really happy with the way that hollow looks. I mean, the card itself, very clean, very sharp. Um, happy to add that to my collection. Stick him back in the sleeve right away. And we got uh, fossil card number six. We can get him in books. There we go. Hey, Haunter. Do love these classic uh, psychic Pokemon. I mean, obviously Haunter and uh, Gengar are, are always, always fan favorites. Yep, overall, Hollow, again, is very clean there. Just one, there you can kind of see it, right? It's right about there. Right about, yeah, right right in there, there is a, let's see if I can get it back there, there it is. You can see a little little line with a little small crack there in, in, in the Hollow. Scratch probably happened at some point, but uh, still, very clean card, very happy with it. One, one more knocked out of my collection, so the hope is to... Uh, Trying to connect, collect all the sets, but uh, starting with some of the vanilla ones and then modern ones. So uh, base set, fossil, and jungle, I think, are my, my three first goals I'm shooting for. Um, all right, looking at our last card. This one's a little bit rougher. You can definitely see a few different spots there. I don't know if I can get on the screen, but there's like a little, little scratch in the Aerodactyl. You can see the hollow behind it. There's a couple little uh, lines down there, but overall, again, very clean card. Flip it over. Yeah, just a couple specks of whiting, but overall, I mean, this is very uh, good condition overall. You can tell it, whoever owned these at least, you know, did try to protect them some. So there's a few scratches that you can't really see on the this hollow, but still, I mean, Aerodactyl, it, it, it's the number one card in the fossil set. Not the most valuable one. That that goes to Dragonite, but uh, no, this is still probably my favorite card from the set. I mean, loved Aerodactyl Classic, and he he just fits the fossil theme. So I'm gonna leave him up and add him as well. We'll add these guys to the binder. Trying to complete the set there. So set him over here for now, and then he's gonna be in the middle slot. If this will slide in there nice or not. So, these pages in this binder on these, these sleeves like this are a little bit tight. So that's why I go with the shorter sleeves and the uh, standard long ones. Um, you can see the end of my jungle set I'm working on. I got these all in the same binder, but we'll show the binder in a second too. It's a vintage binder. I'm sure you've all seen it before. It's, it's one that's been around for forever, but uh, doo -doo. there goes Haunter number six. And then number one, first card in the set. Can't complete it without it. So there's one more off the list. All right. So now we got, got a few hollows, at least on the first page of my, my fossil collection. I think we're good yeah everything from 31 to 62 we got uh definitely still working on a lot of the rares and then all these gaps in the hollow section but uh hopefully in the next year or so we can start filling in a lot more of those holes outside of that then we go to the jungle do you like that flarian that is a sharp flarian card definitely one of the best in the jungle set fan of the nido queen there she is down there Cart itself's in a little bit rough condition, but happy to have her. And then we're working on that base set, and you want to see the saddest thing in the world. Page number one. The... Luckily, we got a few more on a few more of these hollows on page two, and, and a bunch of the rares and uncommons. So that that's exciting. I did see today. I don't think I got any footage of it. Uh, I got to see a BGS 9.5 of the. Uh, base set Charizard there. A little bit out of my, it was, it was out of my price range. Not even close, but that's all right. It's still cool to see, always good to see a Charizard out in the wild. 
thank you all for coming along. Like I said, if you want to see more of this in the future, let me know. Um, if you enjoyed the content today, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, ding that notification bell. We'll catch you guys next time.